Okay, so before we get started, let's make sure that we have Docker installed on our local machine. Um, let's go to docker.com slash products slash Docker desktop. And this will have where you can download the Docker uh, client for your local machine. That's what we'll be running this um, crash course on. So if you don't have it, download this, install it, and then you'll be ready to go. So I already have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and run Docker. Great. Okay, so we've got Docker running. That's great. Now let's head over to Laravel.com, and these are the docs for Laravel. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we can do an installation section here. Um, I typically like to do just plain Jane vanilla installation via Composer. So there's a lot of ways to do this, but uh, I'm a creature of habit. So I will go to my desktop and then um, paste that in. And then we are going to call this crash course. All right, it installed. So let's go check out Crash Course. There we go. All right, so we open this up. <clears throat> and this is our application. So before we do anything else here, we're going to go ahead and install Sail. And what Sail is, is a way to kind of plug and play, run um, local uh, Laravel on, on a Docker machine, okay? And this is just to kind of save us some boilerplate and um, some complexities on setting up everything else. This is just a lot easier. Um, okay, so we're going to exist, we're gonna install Sail into an existing application. So let's go back here. All right, next, after it's been installed, you may run this. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, what services would you like to install? Well, we know that we want uh, MySQL. Um, and I think that's all we're really gonna need. Uh, yeah, okay, great. So sales scaffolding is done. And then we can run this command, which is sale up. And what this is doing is going to pull down the Docker image. It's going to build it so we can run it locally. Okay, so it's done installing, and now it's getting started up. You should see some dialogue like this in here. And um, now, if I open up a new one, Docker PS... Looks like it started its service here at um, port 80. So let's go ahead and check that in our browser. So let's go here, localhost, and port 80 is the default. And there we are. So now we are ready to rock and roll. We've got Laravel running on our local machine um, with Laravel sale. And we've got our project set up and ready to go.